Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Simon Mwaren goes out on Mtale Mwanza. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Mutale Mwanza is a disgrace to the female gender. She is just a beautiful thug, says Simon Mwewale. She cried off and I knew she would. Her last post before deactivating her account said, I hope I look this beautiful in my casket, sending her followers into a frenzy. Everyone was worried that this was a cry for help. There was even a false story that went around claiming that the vice president's office called Mutale to calm her down. I spoke to the vice president's office. They said no such thing happened. Nobody from the VP's office called Mutale. Then Chomba wrote an article calling for the arrest of Mutale for causing false suicidal alarm. And that's when Mutale burst out of the gate with both guns blazing. Instead of explaining why she said, I hope I look this beautiful in my casket, she went on a whole path to expose her friend's husband's alleged escapades. Very few people caught what Mutale was actually doing. She was deflecting attention from her alarming suicide post and switching the conversation to Chomba's escapades. Do you know which group of people does that? Manipulators. Manipulative people are good at deflecting attention from an unresolved issue and then focusing it on a different and related matter. If indeed Chomba did any of those things, the fact is that's an entirely different conversation. The conversation here is that Mutale alarmed her followers and she implied that she was suicidal. She hasn't dealt with that at all. She has only managed to raise the topic of betrayal between friends. What was more appalling was Mutale's use of insults. My gosh, there is nothing more unattractive than a woman with a mouth full of insults. And they are young, impressionable Zambian girls out there that follow Mutale and they will start insulting people in the same way that she does. Kabirishi inspires them. Chomba was wrong for talking about Mutale's son, but as they say, all is fair in love and war. Neither one of them were concerned about what they were saying about each other. They were saying anything and everything to destroy each other. Then finally, Mutale informs Chomba that her ex-husband from Kopala was coming to Lusaka with a truckload full of lawbreakers, implying that Chomba will be dealt with as if there are no laws in Zambia. Mutale Mwanza is not a role model. She's just a beautiful thug. Simon Mwewalen TV. More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.